Hello guys, I'm Paul from Volpa Test Consultants. Today my session is about um, Ready API Data Driven Testing. Um, first of all, I will explain you how Ready API, um, how to open it, how to install it, and then, um, or I mean, run one of the REST web service, um, a GET web service, and then try to um, do a data driven testing on, on that particular framework. So just sit and relax and I will go, go, um, go through that process so first of all you just install um, ready API from smart BS website once you have downloaded it, it um, so currently I'm using a Mac computer so whatever uh, operating system you're using in windows you can install that particular version of uh, ready api and just um, once you have downloaded this uh, you'll be okay with running some of the functional and security testing uh, for free basically and uh, you can just start your free trial for 14 days and you will be able to use it uh, so the data driven testing will require uh, um, the pro version the pro version will be valid for 14 days uh, for to start with so you can do all your learnings if you require during that time duration if you don't want to pay extra money so once uh, this is open you will I will try to start this project from scratch I will do a new functional test and we have yeah, our rest api and um, i'll be using the rest uh, requ request resp dot in to basically start my um rest web service testing so this is that website uh, which which hosts uh, some of, some of the web services that can you can use uh, readily and it is available for free so um, this uh, does a get on list of users they have so this API users endpoint uh, which we call as resources um, returns uh, all the uh, different IDs it has like email first name last name those kind of profile they are having for the avatar is listed over here and um, you can see here the IDs start from 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12, and so on and so forth. Um, if you want to restrict, you want to just uh, view the rails of ID equal to 7, that I'll be explaining you as a, what we call as parameterization. Um, and uh, what I will do is I will parameterize this um, into a data data source and it will um, pick those details one by one so that's what I'm going to explain you today so get go to this uh, site and just enter the URL which is your request response dot in with an HTTPS just copy this and uh, just paste it over here so we are getting going a get on this particular endpoint um, basically the base URL and we have a new project and we have we will assert um, this status course of 200 which is okay and um, let's just just create the empty project so you can see here the um, rest project number three is created this is what we just created now you have now um, the get request over here if you navigate through so it has created the API and the functional test um, structure over here uh, and each of these um, test case and the request these are all are called steps I define here so let me just uh, first of all run this um, get request and see if it works so you can see in a JSON format 
cannot be viewed okay let's see it in the online format you can see all the d details over here mm. somehow it has not and okay so now on uh, the next part is I have to mention the resources which is your basically endpoint we will mention uh, that endpoint from API users under here and just paste it over to the ready API resources and you can remove this extra slash and just run it so now it is a proper um, response you're getting and um, this is page number one data id id is one two three four and so forth so now we um i will explain you what is parameterization so uh, so if you want to just get the information of this id equals to one we will add a parameter saying id having this name and value as suppose two so it will return the id equals to data and uh, this should be always query type because uh, we are we are basically extracting the data with the help of this query so let's uh, now run this again so after you run it you can see it's just giving the id equals to two data over here now um now the next part is uh, for which I have started this video is about data um, data parameterization and how can we run this data one by one using um, a data source such as Excel or the data generation step so let's go to the next part here so just go to the, this test case one over here and uh, go to this hamburger menu you'll be seeing a data um, post data option here so you can just go for data source and create a source name like data source like data source excel once you have done this just click on yes and go for ok and now your data source excel is created so by default it's taking this as id and it has created some sample data but this is not the proper data we have to basically configure so for today's video i will be just explaining you how do you can use excel to get the data uh, from that excel into this um, into this pr project and basically it will read all the excel values one by one and it will hit the request one by one using a different set of ids all the time okay now you go to the excel browse here it will i have already created one of the excel um, values I will just show you what this contains on in a moment do you want to import the properties yes clear all existing properties yes so my worksheet is um, sheet 1 So here uh, you can see uh, let me open the Excel so the Excel have this book one entry it will now try to open the Excel Excel file So right now this excel is getting opened which is already having a row called id uh, so you can make the same thing 
for your test uh, it's taking a bit of time so now uh, you have this um, ID over here and your data starts from row number two that is more important you will be using that and it will um, have these all IDs you can just mention random IDs over here if you want like two one and three four I'll just um, shuffle some of the IDs over here and uh, we just save this uh, and I will import this again uh, from the here let's get Excel okay so my location is same and I've saved it so it will take that entry so now you start uh, at the uh, at cell number A2 so uh, that I shown you earlier now just run it and uh, say that number of rows to be run is number six because we have six values so here you can see that uh, the values is getting picked up from the excel and, and in in order which i have specified earlier so now this is uh, all built in and uh, when you go to this um, test request it has now the data source of Excel with ID values. So each of the time this parameter of ID will change to the value of the Excel source and it will hit your services six times when you run over here from here. Okay. Now uh, let's um, go to this test case and um, just check the history has it run before no so now if you run it from here it is now generating those runs for some values is failing uh, let's uh, run I mean see what's happening over here So, uh, so it has uh, actually has to run um, all the six times uh, for some reason it's failing so you can just check this these are the pass values for those two runs so I'm just opening try to opening this so here you can see that ID value of 2 was picked and it, it has to run and get the, those details over here uh, I will try running it again one moment I will have to change this one moment I will just save this and try to run it again and uh, let's check uh, whether it was run properly on your history So they're saying that one of the session failed. That's fine. Uh, at least five of them did work. So let's go here mm, and see uh, some of the past steps over here. Let me run again. Yeah. So see here, this green um, this green icon means that it has run properly. For some reason, the data row number three is not working. Yeah, it did work, but um, I think we got some um, 200. Okay, it's actually a false fail because we are getting the data and the code is um, 200. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, this is how you can parameterize the data and you can. Uh, basically run it uh, in one go and you can assert on the basis of uh, either the HTTP code or some other data you want to assert on that I'll be covering in my future videos or I'll update that in, in my website so now the next step is like, I'll just explain you what's uh, all you can do from here you can also post or create um, a new data over here so for post you require these two details 
um, so post will basically create this new record and it will save it in the web service um, uh, server actually so let's uh, get, uh, let me run this post request let's change this to um, let's change this original get to a post and um, get rid of this id value now here if you um, paste those uh, information and change the data um, and change this data to manager or something like that and uh, when you hit this post request it will basically create a new data for you so you can see that id id is equals to 7 20 is generated so you can also uh, again do a get and add id and value as 722 to double check whether your details was created properly yeah so yeah um, api user id users id equal to 722 <laughs> i think something unsupported actually it's not able to find this error on the server side of it so I think it's not getting this ID at all uh, so yeah I mean if that is the case then just check the other values that is coming yeah it's working but somehow that um, that create uh, was not working because it's a fault of the service yeah so this is how um, you can you can basically create a REST web service um, and uh, you can run through all your data driven uh, testing using ready API services. All right, this is all good for this session and uh, please keep me busy with your comments and help me with more ideas or if you are stuck, please uh, leave a message or comment me and I hope um, you'll be good with this video. Hope to see you soon. Have a great evening and um, bye for now.